Hi, it's Mark Marmer from Signature Electric. So we are in the storage room of one of our customers, sort of midtown Toronto. And we've got the scene set here with these lamps behind us. This is the, the goal of today's filming, is to provide you with a simple one or two step way of dealing with these lamps and having them be able to be removed in an environmentally friendly way and a simple way so how I ended up here was we visited the site to look at a few jobs that needed to be done. While we were talking, the customer asked me about buying lamps. And um, I, I said, well, that's not a problem. Give us a list of what you want. I'll send you pricing and we can provide lamps. I said, what, what are you doing about the disposal of the lamps? And his eyes lit up. <laughs> he, said, he says, oh, come with me, come with me. And I got brought down here to look at this. And I said, okay, I, I get you got a problem. We do have a solution for this. But I also want to point out that the customer understood that they had a problem here. These lamps did not end up in the bin. They're not thrown in the garbage. They understood that these lamps, there's an issue with these lamps. The lamps contain mercury. And this mercury is highly toxic and we don't want to get this to get into the environment. So the customer in, in, in a way is doing the right thing. They've got the right idea. What they are struggling for is a solution of how to manage this. There's nobody here in the building whose job is to somehow figure out how to get rid of these lamps. And we're always looking for simplicity because we understand in this case that we have uh, maintenance people or property managers, they, they only have so much time. So how are we gonna deal with this? And every place is different. This has, they happen to have a nice big storage area down here. Not everybody has this. Sometimes they're out on the loading dock. Sometimes it's a mix. It's bigger lamps, smaller lamps. How's all this gonna happen? So this is the kind of thing that we're looking at. So what we have is we have our, a, a system now for disposing of a, a one call system, or maybe it'll be a one click system. So you'll call and you'll ask for a box. You may want a box, in this case, this is a bin for recycling various kinds of lamps that are not the fluorescent straight lamps. We have a bin for the straight three foot and four foot lamps. And we've also got a bin for small recycling of uh, batteries and small electronics. Each one of these just has a price, has a single price. So. What happens is you'll call, place the order, pay for the box, the box will be delivered. It can sit here for as long as need be until the, it's filled. Uh, in the case of the uh, recycling bin, just to fill halfway, uh, I'll explain to you in a minute how it works. When it's full, just let us know it's full. We'll come back, pick the box up as is. If you would like another box, let us know, we'll give you another one. And that's it, the, the service is just one call, one payment, and it's done. However long it takes to fill this or whatever you decide, that's up to you. In this case, what we're concerned here is to be able to have a spot to put the smaller lamps and put a fair number of them, but not have them crush each other. You'll see that there's a, an opening. It's almost like a slide system. The point of the slide system is that as the lamps move to the bottom and get filled the bottom piece of the slide, the next piece will fill up and it will take the pressure off of it. So the ones at the bottom won't be crushed by the weight of the ones at the top. So these are for these kind of lamps, the compact fluorescent, the little ones. All this information is here telling you how to do it. If you want to set it up like we have it here with the lid open and the instructions. So these circle line ones fit as well. So that helps for these odd sizes. And there we go. So nothing cracked, nothing's broken and you'll get this filled about here. If we fill it up too much, it's hard to handle um, both to un unload it and what have you. So we, we can do it about a half or three quarter. So this can take 80 lamps. So the game plan is simply to put the lamp in, into the slot. You can see the slots keep it from jangling around inside and we don't want them broken. That's the, the most important thing. So this one is set up now for T12s. If we want to go to T8s, very common lamp, the same box, except the slots will be set up for 120 lamps. So we'll get quite a few more in because of the size. And then if I had these, which are T5, what is, we use the T8 inserts. We're able to put two of these in to each slot. And so these would be 240. So it's really, it can be pretty good value depending on how many lamps are fitting into the box. And you still have just this footprint of the box uh, to deal with. You just, you'd, you'll see when you go to the site, you're letting us know whether you want a box for T8s or a box for T12s. And in a case like this, this customer may very well choose two boxes so that they've got the T12s and the T8s available and then they've got all these three lamp sizes would have been managed. I think ultimately, however you manage to fill them, if it was a combination, that's okay. As long as you just fill the slots, everything can come back and be recycled.
The other really great thing I think is this small bin for battery recycling and small electronics. This little bin here is the bin just for my office. I know they need to be dealt with, but I don't want to go to the recycling place every time I have to get rid of a AA battery. So what you can do is these batteries can be placed in here. Ideally, you don't get it too, too high because what happens is we pick it up with the dolly. If it gets too, too heavy, it's just hard to handle. But imagine that you had a condo as an example. You could put this just beside at the security desk or maybe on the loading dock. And I, if I collected up this many and you multiply that times, uh, you know, a building filled with people, I think people will, for the small cost, I think people will appreciate the ability to have somewhere to put this. And for you, it's a, again, it's one call. When you're done, the instructions are on all of these. You just got an email or um, call to have it picked up and it'll be picked up. And here we can put, uh, if we've got our used cell phones, those kind of small recycling can go into here as well. So the goal here was to really simplify this for everybody. So what can I do to recycle these sitting at my desk? So I'm gonna log into signatureelectric.ca slash lamps, and I'll be right into the ordering uh, piece. It's gonna tell me I would like a light, bin, light bulb recycling bin, I would like a fluorescent bin for T8s and maybe another fluorescent bin for T12s. And I need a battery bin to go by the concierge at the front desk or maybe on the loading dock or wherever we decided is appropriate. I'm just giving you some ideas. You'll pay for it. They will be delivered. You'll fill them whenever it is that you fill them. You will simply follow the instructions, which is call or email again from your desk. The box will be picked up. And if it's working great for you, let us know and we'll drop off another box exactly at the same time. That's the game plan. Simple and great for the environment. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. You think about this in the office too. How can we do this in a more simple way? How can it be easier for us? And is it environmentally friendly? So this sort of catches all those points. If you're looking to, to reach us about uh, this solution, signatureelectric.ca slash lamp, that's gonna take you right to the page to help to make this happen. Um, but you're interested in other things, we have a YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Signature Electric. Call us, we're happy to hear from you, we're happy to talk to people, 416-490-8093. Hoping that this has been useful for you and wishing that this works out well and wishing that we're doing all together something good for the environment.